What is this, the significance of, of this feast? Why do we celebrate the holy name of Mary? What's the significance of that? What do we have to learn from that? Well, the holy name of Mary is actually a title. It's not just a, a, a name given arbitrarily. The name Jesus assigned to our Lord was not just a name, but the Blessed Mother and St. Joseph thought sounded nice, so let's, let's name uh, our Lord. It was given by heaven, by God the Father in heaven, naming his own son. And the word Yeshua means Savior. It has many variations, Jesus, Jesu in Latin, or in Italian, Jesse, right, is another form of that. Joshua is another form of it too. Right. But they all go back to the root, which means Savior. And this was a title. This was a mission. Literally, our Lord was sent into the world by the Father to accomplish the redemption. And so he not only is Jesus by name, he is Jesus by the very incarnation is the fulfillment of that mission, to be the Savior of the world, of mankind, of the faithful, ultimately, those who are truly faithful to him. The same with Mary. I mean, in the earliest days of Revelation, just after the fall of mankind, God promised to send a woman who would be the mother of the Savior. And this woman, we read in Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. Everyone should go and look that up if they don't know it by heart. They should go and look it up right now. Genesis 3, 15. God said that this woman would be the enemy of Satan. That he would be her enemy. Never her ally. Never the ally of Satan, I should say, as Eve became, right? right? This woman would be the enemy of Satan, and that is her mission. And the, the title, she would be the woman, and you notice that in the Gospels, our Lord referred to his mother Mary as woman at the wedding feast of Cana, and even from the cross, as our Lord was giving Mary, his own mother, to St. John, and entrusting her to his care. He referred to her by that noble title of woman, because she is the fulfillment of that prophecy. When we honor the name of Mary, we are honoring the prophecy of God. We're actually honoring the God who promised her and fulfilled that promise to send this noble woman into the world. Unlike Eve, who had lost her nobility in sin, this woman was conceived in grace through the Immaculate Conception and maintained that nobility, that spiritual nobility through her life, absolutely sinless. We refer to that as her Immaculate Heart. So uh, that is the significance of this wonderful feast day.